Welcome back to the Unbeaten Spotlight of the Month for the month of June for the FightForRelevance.com. I'm Alex Rosso. For the month of June, we decided to choose Mr. Damiano Camerata. Uh, for the month of June, I put it up for a vote by our members of the gym, Unbeaten CrossFit, and he was chosen. Um, so first question I'd like to ask is, how did you find CrossFit? Well, um, I was looking for a gym, and I mentioned it to my mother, and I was looking around, I went to a bunch of like Planet Fitness, Retro Fitness, all that, all that kind of stuff. And my mother was driving by one day, and by some stroke, stroke of luck, she said, oh, there's this pretty cool new gym that just opened down the block. It's a big garage, music playing, a bunch of people all ripped up, working out in there. So I was like, you know what, let me go give it a shot. I went, I met with uh, Pam and Ryan. They did my intro class, and the rest is history. Cool. Um, so you came in super overweight. Correct. Uh, what was the weight that you were at when you came in? 310. So 310 yeah. pounds. So what has CrossFit done for you, including the weight loss? Like, what has it brought you to? Your, the weight that you're at now, um, how you live your life, your habits, all these different types of things. Well, it, pre it changed my whole life. I, uh, first of all, I was too out of shit. Like, in high school, I was an athlete. So being 310 pounds, you know, you're not athletic anymore. Right. So coming back in, it gave me... It gave me confidence right away to get back in, get back in, working out, get the strength back, endurance back, everything that I had when I was younger. Right. That I, you know, and also helped me lose all that weight. Right. And how, what are you at now? You're at 310. Um, what are you at now? 226 as of this wow. morning. That's freaking awesome, man. Mm -hmm. All because of CrossFit, you think? Yeah, 100%. I don't think, honestly, I don't think I would have been able to do it without it. Right. But along with the CrossFit, it's been healthy eating and practicing different ways of oh, life, of correct? Right. Yeah. You totally did a 180 on how you were living your life, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, I don't, I mean, I don't follow any strict diet plan or anything like that. I just basically watch what I eat, make sure I eat good, healthy things, and just do the right thing, try to right. make good See, choices. That's what's so vital about CrossFit is that at the bottom of our pyramid of our sport is nutrition. And right out of his mouth, the guy was 310 pounds. All he says is that he just practices some good eating habits, not even a strict diet. And with the help of CrossFit, it helped him lose almost what? Uh, 90, 90 pounds? pounds? Yeah. It's incredible. And you mentioned being an athlete. So what was your background prior to CrossFit? Uh, I know you said you were a football mm -hmm. player, right? Well, uh, all through high school, I played football. Uh, I was very good at it, actually, just too short to go anywhere with it. Right. And then uh, after high school, I just completely, once I didn't have football anymore, I just decided to focus on school. And so work. football kind of, you were out of shape, but it kind of held you into that, like into shape in a way. Like, yeah, no, and, I was like You were right at the edge, but that was holding you there from going overboard. I was definitely, I was, yeah, I was 250 when I played football, but I was an athletic 250. Right. And, you know, like... I would watch what I ate and stuff like that. And once football ended and I didn't have football anymore, I didn't really, you know, like, I relaxed a little bit and I didn't really care so as like, much. So, what was the uh, time gap between football ending mm -hmm. and finding CrossFit? Uh, four and a half years. So, four and a half years of complete just unhealthy living, like, yep. not really caring. Just mm -hmm. So, you're saying that football kind of held you down a lot. Like, yeah, you definitely. just didn't really have a purpose at one point. Can you say mm -hmm. that a little bit? Yeah, 100%. Right. Because I, I can relate to that too, you know. I, when I finished, I was a lacrosse player. When I finished high school, I, um, I had like a three-year period of just no direction, and I found this, and it just totally 180. That's yeah, why. Yeah, no, it's 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 a lot like being on a team, you know. Right. See, yeah. The whole thing is with football. The reason why I feel like I was so successful is because it was very structured. Right. There, you would go in with a group of people, go and work out, uh, do do everything that the team would do, and try to accomplish a goal right. same thing like pretty much when you come here you have a workout laid out for you you have a bunch of people that you're going to see every day working out pushing you it's a lot like being on a team that's i mean, i can't relate anymore like i grew up an athlete and i love this because it brought out the competitive side of me that i've had my whole life you know that team aspect and everything so that's awesome um why would you encourage someone new to try? I mean, I know you covered it, but say someone on the street, especially an overweight person, I have people tell me all the time, uh, I'm too out of shape for CrossFit, or I, I look like crap, I'd be embarrassed to come in. You came in at 310 pounds, that shows a lot of courage. Why would you encourage someone to come in and do that? Well, I tell a lot of my friends that are thinking about joining and stuff like that, and thinking about just maybe just changing their life and starting to get a little bit more healthy. Especially with CrossFit, if, you, if there's things you can't do, like I, I came in, I couldn't do probably 90% of the things that we were doing but the coaches you know 
took it, broke it down for me, made it simpler, gave me things that I could work on to get myself to that point right. where I could do everything right. that I, I'm able to do now. Right. So you don't have to come in being a top of the line athlete. You can come in being 310 pounds and work your way up to that. Right. Awesome. Good stuff. And now, um, so CrossFit has kind of steered you in a new direction. Uh, finding a different passion, a different hobby in powerlifting. Um, so you qualified for nationals. That's coming up when? That's in October. So I mean, I don't. I see you do. I know. I see that you still train in CrossFit, uh, mm. kind of a lot. Yeah. But you're more on the powerlifting side. So what has that been like? Um, do you thank your powerlifting success to CrossFit or to maybe your history? Like, what would you say? Well, it definitely has a little bit to do with both, but. Definitely more so CrossFit because, like I said, I haven't after high school and after football. I didn't I didn't work out for years. I mean, I was strong in high school, but if if you take three four years off, you know your body's gonna lose a lot of that. Right. You know, but um, once I got back into CrossFit, I started lifting again, squatting again, benching again, and stuff like that. You're like really strong, dude. So you really found that you had potential, right? Yeah. And then I, <laughs> Danny pushed me to go with him and start doing powerlifting, and I seen Pam was doing it. So I was like, you know what, man, let's give it a and shot. And that was your first meet, right? You yeah. did You did your first meet. When was that? It was uh, March 20th. In March, and now you qualified for nationals. When that's gonna, When's that going to be? Um, I believe it's the beginning of October. In, and it's not here, right? No, it's in Georgia. Okay, cool. So we have a meet coming up on July 30th, which is before nationals, which mm-hmm. is here at Unbeaten CrossFit. You're going to be competing in that, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, me and Pam are both competing in it. Right, and, and so two people that qualify for nationals will be at the gym hosted here july 30th all right man i wish you the best of luck with that i appreciate you. you doing the interview that's all for the unbeaten spotlight for the month of june stay on the lookout for the month of july have a great day